Hi everyone and welcome back. So today let's check out Samsung's amazing Astro Photography Mode, which is not available with the stock camera app. You have to download Expert RAW from the Galaxy Store, but make sure that it is available for your country, as Expert RAW isn't available everywhere. And if you don't know how to change region on your Galaxy Store, make sure to check out this video which is present in description. Also, this Expert RAW works on limited number of Samsung phones. So check it out if Expert RAW is available for your phone or not. The application is about 144 megabyte in size and it maximizes the hidden potential of your Galaxy device. For example, now Samsung has added an amazing feature apart from taking raw photographs and this feature is astrophotography. It makes the whole astrophotography process super easy. You have to just adjust your phone on a tripod and tap on the top right corner of your phone. Here we have Sky Guide that lets you show or hide different astronomical objects in the sky using your phone's camera in real time. So if you're thinking to find and capture any specific star, you can try out this sky guide feature. Next we have duration setting that you can adjust from 4 minutes to 10 minutes. But once again that depends on how much light do you have. If you have a completely dark sky, then move the slider to 10 minutes. And if you're living in a place like I am with lots of light pollution, you can minimize the exposure time. Once again, make sure your phone is placed on a tripod for best possible results. After taking shots, you can adjust them in Lightroom. And I have also taken some shots when the sky was clear. The results I got after editing out the photographs were amazing. Like you can see the difference here. This is the edited shot and this is the normal shot which is in raw format. If you don't know how to edit these photographs, I'll paste a link to my preset that you can use on your night sky photos taken with Expert Raw. Make sure to follow me on Twitter where I'll be posting more detailed results and also I'll compare it with iPhone 14 Pro to see which phone does it better at astrophotography. Although iPhone not even has a dedicated astrophotography mode, but still it will be interesting to see the results. And that was all about for today's episode. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.